Alrighty guys, so we are actually in my Nanites factory today. Today we are going to be doing another video inside of my Nanites factory. So, I haven't really done much to the factory in terms of expansion. However, this is the ship we currently have loaded up here. Uh, we are going to be using the Nanites factory today in order to be gaining some Nanites. So, first things first, first up, Hadal and Larval Cores. We are just going to go ahead and run through all of those that we have real quickly. I will be back to tell you how many Nanites we get from just those. I just buy those every single time I see them whenever I'm buying suspicious packets for, you know, Nanites. Let's go. Guys, and as you can see here, we're not even going to count this 50 stack here. We're going to go with 500, and we're going to call that a dead 500. Uh, we're going to call this right here a thousand. We're going to go over here to this one. That's going to make it 1.5, 2,000, 3,000, 3.5, and what looks like 4,000 nanites from that very short Hadal and a larval core run here. I like to stack up all of them inside of a starship and once the ship is full we do begin our extraction method. So the next thing I have a ton of is Hexite. Now Hexite is going to be needing Thacium and we have some dihydrogen so let's head on over to our freighter and go ahead and grab a stack of that hydrogen. We are going to begin smelting on what is going to be I do believe it's the hydrogen and carbon that I'm going to need in here. Uh, this should be creating some facium, 990 of it. Uh, we will be needing that facium. We are going to begin what is going to be a little bit of a longer term smelt, but it is going to be worth it. Uh, this is going to be facium and hexite. Uh, these two together will also be creating us some nanites. I'm not sure if that's the only facium we have, but we need more facium than that. Yeah, we'll be getting that. And then, of course, we're also going to process our condensed carbon real quickly. Uh, like I said, the freighter is just my favorite spot to be doing my smelting, just be or refining, I suppose it is called. But anyway, I prefer to smelt up here just because it is just so many refiner access all in one little pocket. So besides Hexite and Facium, we are also going to go ahead and take a look at what all we have in this real quick. So uh, Hypnotic Eyes, I wanted to go ahead and see if those smelt it down. If those smelt down, those are another thing, and they do smelt down, but they smelt down into living slime. So uh, they're not the best when it comes to conversion, but they're worth buying and they're worth picking up and saving on to because that is a lot of living slime just out of nowhere. Speaking of living slime, let's go ahead and get a living slime, uh, you know, processing unit going on here. We're going to make sure we get all of our living slime in one scoop here, though. So let's go ahead and just slowly go through this real quickly. It's better just to take a second and go through this. Uh, we are just going to get our living slime on the road to runaway mold, which is the next exact thing I think we're going to take care of real quickly here which is going to be the runaway mold that we do have at 600 nanites not not a good conversion rate at all but it's okay it will work and then of course besides that we've also been hoarding what else uh viscous fluids these are going to convert into living slime 12 minutes that is quite some time good thing we're doing this all at once you know what i'm saying uh, that's why I like to stack all this type of stuff up and then just take it to my nanite factory and convert it all over instantly, just like that. We also have some dirty bronze and some aronium, but I don't think aluminium. We're probably going to smell a whole bunch of aronium today just to get it out of our inventory. Uh, that is the other thing I like to do as well, uh, is just run a little bit smell off sometimes, and I think pugnium plus... Atlantindium will be making a lot of runaway mold. There we go. So that will be helpful there. Uh, once again, combining those two is a way better solution than smelting down the plugin by itself. It takes way longer that way. 
Uh, repair kits? Can they be real good on anything? No, okay. So if they could, I would buy a whole bunch and break them down, but besides that, what else do we have even here? So we have dirty bronze, and we have what would be laminium, and then we're also going to need a bunch of E-Rocks. So, first of all, let's see how much of this we can build, and then we might go buy some laminium. 23, and what's our limiting factor there? Ammonia, and ammonia will require some paraffinium, as well as some ferrite dust. And then we also have some salt and some fungal mold. We'll see if maybe there's any sort of fungal mold here. I don't think there is. Uh, we'll also go ahead and transfer that to our exosuit too. So it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a gold and silver and bronze or gold, silver, and whatever it else it is. I don't remember even. Uh, but. We are going to get that real quickly, so I don't think we're actually going to worry about that last of ammonia. Uh, we might. Let's see, we just need to find an open generator, which is actually kind of hard to do now. Uh, anyway, so here we go. If we want to be creating more ammonia, we're going to need ferrite dust and paraffinium. That is just one of the simpler ways of getting this done. Here we go. 2 to 1 ratio, 76. Okay. And then we'll be able to make like one more V rocks. It really wasn't worth it at all. Uh, maybe there's aluminium being sold here. Probably not. We'll probably have to go to a manufacturing galaxy. Yeah. Oh, but there's perfidium, so here we go. We'll quickly do this. I don't want to be doing a ton of buying of any sorts in this video. I will go ahead and say that much. Uh, and we'll see what this gave us. 147, not bad. We do have some face seam going on over here though. Uh, and this is going to be needing its carbon, which should be over here. We're going to add this last of its carbon before we do anything else, uh, just to get this face seam done with and over with, so we can take that back out of there. But yeah, this is how a nanite factory goes, guys. Uh, as you can see, it's not bad. It is definitely worth it to have one of these nanites factories going on somewhere, either inside your freighter or anywhere else. I would suggest building it in the freighter, like I always suggest, just because there's no reason to really have a plant farm here. I might do a small thing here, maybe for carbon or something, I'm not 100% sure here, uh, because you can gather plant material, see? So this is going to be my carbon farm. Uh, and runaway molds being processed here, oh no. So, Faceium's almost done, we're also going to be working on what is going to be leaving that alone, so, I think this is it, yeah, we need to add more paraffinium, there we go, 1-1 one, one ratio, that's fine, and then we'll make the last of the D-Rocks, and we will get the silver and gold and everything situated, there we go, that's a good setup there. And now time to just add that face in real quick. There we go. 1.3k nanites. Not bad for just a little bit of face in running there. Uh, as you can see here, nanite factories are kind of fun. Uh, just because it is some nanites. And it will give you a decent outcome if you just save up some stuff to bring in here all at once. And you're not just trying to go and go crazy with it. So let's see here. What we're trying to make now, just so that we know we have everything, we're gonna go check that real quickly. Uh, we're missing that. Where is it at? GFS Apparently we have some aluminium. Okay, well let's not argue with it. That's for sure. Aluminium, okay. We're gonna go find some aluminium and we'll be back. Have our paraffinium, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and smelt the rest of this carbonium down, even though we really shouldn't. We're not going to, that's a bad waste, that's a major waste, just because we can save that and get more lanthanium and get a lot more nanites that way. So, we're gonna hang on to that actually, but we are gonna get some geodesite crafted up as much as we can actually. Only eight of us see in here, rocks is our limiting factor, like always. We need to get the ammonia farm going on so I can really show y'all what it's like to have a good ammonia farm, platinum farm going on here. I know for a fact it will be very profitable. However, we do have to get that set up first and I am nowhere near an ammonia farm. 
However, here we go, 400 more nanites here, and now let's go ahead and get our geodesk site going. So we are going to be geodesk site smelting for a good minute here, uh, and we're going to add some more in right here once it gets down to the 8 mark. Well, we were down, here we go, we'll leave that uh, going on there, and let's find some more open refiners, and I will be back once this is done. Alrighty guys, so it does look like all of that is done. We are going to try and keep all of this in the same area. So, let's go ahead and see what we're doing with Platinum. First things first, that's the most important thing. How many 999 stacks of Platinum do we have? We're also going to get a 999 stack of Silver there. Uh, and how is our Gold doing? So, Gold, Silver, and now we just need to add some Platinum. We all of the Platinum that we have. So let's see here, no platinum down here, and it does actually look like this is all going to be taken care of in one nice and tidy little area here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this, and that's 381. I am going to go ahead and end the video here, so we're just going to count. We have 400 coming back here. We have what is going to be 450 coming back here, so almost 1,000 coming back here. And then we have some runaway mold being drafted, which we will have to cover that real quickly. Uh, this was a thousand, so this was an extra two thousand. So we made like eight, nine thousand out of this factory real quick here. Uh, this little part will be the rest of this. I will be tending to this now uh, after the video ends. But I do believe that is all, guys. This is the second video over at the Nanites factory. I would like to be showing you more recipes, more things to be smelting, uh, but I think I covered a couple good things here that you can just be passively gathering every time you see them for sale and keeping them stacked up in just a spare ship, like I always do. Uh, this is just my best method. I'm also going to go ahead and smelt this down. This is my smeltery ship. Ooh, and we still have 4,000 residual group, so you know, we may still have a couple few thousand nanites here to just be getting smelted up here. We had like 14,000 at the beginning, so we did get like a good 8,000 here, but I am out, guys. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and QB smoke.